Wrestling it off for the day. Fine arts reminders. And there's there's a big game tonight. But before that, it's time to come out and support baseball while getting some food before the big game. It's all coming up on your update for Friday, January 26th. She's Sophia. And she's Carly. And it's time to get things started right now. Sentinels, we're going to start bringing in donations for the Verity Practice Safe Medical Resource Center to Miss Fresh's room, which is also 242. And you can donate things like baby clothes, di diapers, bottles, wipes, formula, toys, blankets, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. Hairbrushes, hair ties, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, toilet paper, and paper towels. Moving on, tomorrow is the Sentinels Baseball Hitathon. It'll be on the baseball field from 4 to 6 p.m. With, con with concessions, all proceeds go to the team. So let's... I was going to say that. Okay, then Carly, say it. Okay, let's send it to sports news. Thanks, you guys, and let's get into some sports. Last night was all about basketball. To start off, the middle school B team was up against Seacrest and won, while the middle school girls lost. That's not all, though. It was a record-breaking night here at home. The JV and varsity girls basketball teams also played yesterday with both of them facing Naples. The JV team easily defeated Naples with a score of 67 to 24, and the varsity team also defeated Naples with a score of 66 to 25. It was a record-breaking night as both Ari Mark and Calicia Grant each scored their thousandth point career point during the game. And Carly was there to make a video about it, so let's roll it. We want to win every single game. Really, we want to continue to improve. We want to continue to work on our game and continue to, to fine tune some of the things we're still lacking on, but we're really appreciative of what we are and where we are, but we really want to just keep it going. We're excited about the playoffs. We're really excited about this time of year. Feels good. You know, it's one of the goals that I had for like a long time. So it just feels good to finally hit it. Well, in today's sports, we have the Varsity Boys Wrestlers on the road today to Colby Singletary Memorial Invite at Palmetto Ridge for an all-day meet starting at 9 a.m. That's right, Adam. And speaking of wrestling, we have an amazing hype video about the boys wrestling team, so let's roll it. Family on me, family on three. One, two, three, family! Oh, what an amazing video. And that's already all from us, so let's send it back. Well, no, 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 what are you talking about? We've barely even gotten started. All right, all right. Well, in sports for today, the middle school girls basketball team, as well as the middle school boys JV and varsity teams all played tonight at home at 3.30 p.m. The opponent for all three games is CSN. And in some final hoops news, the high school boys JV and varsity basketball teams both play at home tonight against Bishop Vero. JV plays at 5.30 and varsity plays at 7. Phew, is that all from us, Adam? It is, Andrew. So let's take a break and have the news people finish things off for us. Thanks, sports. Now on to some final announcements. Next week is the Fine Arts Trip meeting for all parents at 7. And at 6.15 is the Chaperone Parent Meeting. Speaking of trips, next week on Monday, Mrs. Collins and Mr. Cochran, 6th grade homerooms, will be away at Farmer Mike's U Pick in Bonita. McCreevy and Mitchell's classes will go on Tuesday. The trip will be from 
the beginning of school and we'll be back around 1 p.m. You'll have lots of fun with bounce houses, picking strawberries, and feeding the animals. Lastly, Monday there will be a meeting for Kurt NHS members. The meeting will be held during lunch in the Courtside Cafe, where you'll be preparing for the upcoming induction ceremony and your roles for that event. Well, that's all for today, so see you next week.